Yes, our first supermoon of 2025 is October 7th. Here's what that really means and how to see it best. Supermoon isn't an official astronomy term. It just means the moon is full near perigee, its closest point to Earth, so it looks a bit larger and brighter. Many sky guides count October 7th as the first of three supermoons in 2025, followed by November 5th and December 4th. Timing. The full moon falls on October 7th, early morning UTC. Local date may be late October 6th in the Americas. Perigee lands about a day later, so this one still qualifies under common definitions. How much bigger? Compared with a faraway micromoon, a close full moon can look 14% larger and 25 to 30% brighter. Your eyes mostly notice it near moonrise because of foreground context. The moon illusion helps. Best way to see it, check your local moonrise and pick a spot with a clear eastern horizon. For photos, use 1-3 zoom, tap to focus, drop exposure slightly and brace your phone or use a tripod. A small telephoto or binoculars on a phone clamp helps. Shoot again at moonset for a second chance. Tides. Expect slightly higher than usual high tides, perigean spring tides around the dates, but nothing extreme. No link to quakes. This is a photography event, not a disaster movie. Save this and go catch moonrise. It's the prettiest moment. Comment supermoon plus your city and I'll reply with your moonrise time, direction, and a quick cloud link you can check.